Hello, this is Bryn Antrim, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to explore the Medline database. In order to get to the library homepage, click on the menu in the upper right hand corner, and then click on the plus sign next to Student Support. This will open the sub menu, and you'll be able to click on Library between Counseling and Tutoring. Once at the library, scroll down in the page, and you will notice below the database button is the Ask a Librarian button. This is 24-7 research assistance. Anytime, if you get stuck in a search, contact us via chat and we will help you get unstuck. So in order to get to the Medline database, click on the Databases button, and from there you have some options. All Databases lists all of the databases that Santa Monica College subscribes to, alphabetically by title, with a short description of what's in each database. If you know the name of your database, this is a good way to go. If you don't know the name of the specific database that you're looking for, but you know it is in a particular discipline, we do have discipline listings. These are not all databases. These are just the databases that are primarily about that particular topic, or databases that have a great deal of information on that topic, even if they are not primarily about that topic. So, for example, if I needed to do an essay on vaccinations and COVID-19, I could go down to Health Science Resources. The first one listed is for our nursing program. The second one listed is for general um, education, for general research. And then as you go down, you'll notice there are several different databases that can be useful. But today we're going to concentrate on Medline. This is over 4,600 biomedical journals for information on medicine, nursing, etc. So this might be quite helpful in my, use, in my search. Once I get there, I tell it my subject terms. And I start with a broad search just to see what I get. In this database, if I search for COVID-19, you'll notice I get over 3,600 hits. That's way too many. So I can go up and I can add a second search term to narrow my, my topic down. So say I'm specifically looking for information about vaccines and COVID-19. Adding that one search, search term narrows my search considerably, down to 253. That's still a few too many, so I can go over here on the left-hand side where it says Refine Results and I can use limiters to make my search more specific. For example, I might decide I only want scholarly journal articles. I can ask for only articles that have an abstract. An abstract is an author-supplied summary that tells you what the author thinks is important about that article. Not all articles have this, though. So perhaps instead, I notice my publication date is all 2020, so I will go with that. It's very current. I'm going to go down here to Subject Major Headings. These subject headings are assigned to the articles by experts and tell you that that article is specifically about that topic. So if I decide, oh, viral vaccines, that's exactly what I'm looking for, I can click on that and just by adding a search term, telling it to give me only scholarly journals, and giving it one subject heading, I've taken it from over 3,600 to 22. Be careful with your limiters. You can zero yourself out. If that happens, you can go over here to the limiters and take one off. Okay. So as I look through this, I notice that some of these appear to be for everyday people. Regular researchers, like, for example, me. I'm not in the health field, but I need to write an essay on this topic. And some of them appear really to be for scientists or nurses. So for my topic, to write my essay, I'm going to look for something that maybe talks about how the vaccine can be given to people. Developing a low-cost and accessible COVID-19 vaccine for global health. That's right on topic. So I click on that, and from here I have some options. This tells me about the article, tells me a little bit about the authors, so I know their background and authority, tells me a little bit about the journal, gives me some medical subject headings, 
If I click on these, it will research the database and find everything with that subject heading and give it back to me. <coughs> this can broaden your search. <coughs> Pardon? So um, it's a good way to expand it if you don't have enough hits, um, but can sometimes be a little confusing for your search if it broadens it out again. <coughs> Over here on the right hand side, it allows me to email, save, cite, send it to my Google Drive. So if I need a citation for it, I can ask for the robot to give me an example of a citation. I scroll down alphabetically by the title of the format until I get to the format that my teacher requires me to use. And then I can copy and paste that into my paper and fix it based on the template that my teacher gives me. Robots don't do perfect citations, even though they do their best, so fix it before you turn it in. If I decide that I want to read this, I can go over on the left-hand side and read it in PDF. I recommend PDF over HTML if you get it, because PDF includes all of the graphs and images, which of course the HTML is only text. I can also email it to myself. If I decide to do that, I email it to my any email you want it doesn't have to go to your smc email address i give it a subject over here i tell it give me a citation along with my email and along with my um, document don't send it in plain text format send it off what i will get in that email is all of the information on this page, the robot's attempt at a citation, and the PDF attached to it. Once I have that, I can go back to my result list, look through my results, and see if there's another article that I'd like to send to myself. If you have any questions at any time, chat with a librarian. Good luck with your search, and be well.